Hey, we made it. We're on. <laughs> Technical difficulties happens to everyone. Nothing to be ashamed <laughs> about. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Andy. Hi, Jackie. Hey, Hi. Jackie. Hey, Debbie. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I have to definitely also not be doing stuff right up until time to go on. Because I literally just got finished doing a reading. And uh, it was one of those things where um, I go, it should be short and easy. And, and then I feel the spirit come and push on me. And I go, ah, uh, that means we're going to get, hey, I'm happy to be here. I'm going to give you a lot of stuff to tell this person. <laughs> and so I did. I had all this stuff to tell this person. And I kept asking this one question over and over. And they kept giving me all this stuff. I said, okay, I know, I know. So I took pictures of everything and then I did my last card spread, which gave me the answer. And then I had to go back and say, but these spirits want you to know this stuff. So I um, just really mm -hmm. got finished with that and um, still more to do tonight, but it's okay. It's good. Uh, how's everybody's uh, last few days good or hectic or what? Well, uh, Jackie, I... <laughs> I just got home from work, so I'm just trying to catch up with everything. Okay. But um, my week's actually been pretty decent. I, I had a nice week with the family and spent time with my mom. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, Mother's Day's coming up. Um, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there yes. or the people that are in the place of the mom. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. Yeah. Hey, Andy, how is it going with you? Besides my camera, my new camera just decided to turn off. I mean, literally, I look up and there's no light. So I'm on the old, I'm on the laptop camera. And you had some problems with, I don't know, yeah. you sounded like a banjo. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Very twangy. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it must be this Montana camera. Microphone, yeah, uh, yeah, that was strange. I have not had problems with this really. Um, and then I rebooted my computer and it's yeah, working. You know, we we know this as a fact that uh, stuff happens, and also the other side happens because so many times, um, uh, there's a lot of interference on telephones and uh, messages and text messages. Hi, Bree. Hi, everybody. I should have <laughs> said names. Um, hey, uh, we have some great um, news to share. Something really did great happen for us uh, Wednesday after our showing, our last show on YouTube. And Andy will show it to you with his uh, technical wizardry. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, so here is our um, big announcement. So wrong picture. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to this wrong. one. <laughs> Was it this one? No, no, you just had a, the perfect right there. Stop. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's uh, a learning curve, people. It's a learning yeah. curve. Um. Well, um, Andy, what is that? You can you can say it. So this is our, let's see if I can make this bigger to show um, just, okay, there we go. So this is our new book cover that we had made from this amazing, um, I, I would say she's a freelance uh, artist designer of book covers for, um, We've had we've used her twice now, and her name is Fei Fei Designs on Fiverr.com. But anyways, she designed this amazing book cover. We have the blue skull, this uh, this great font, and on the on the skull there's a uh, Saint Benedict medal that we had worked in, which is in you know a uh, very powerful protective um, saint and. Um, Good, good for protecting of evil. So. Used in uh, exorcisms. It was used in exorcisms. So um, I had the idea to embed it in the forehead because I go, um, that's what 
that's what I use in my practice, so to speak, of protection. So anyway, right. you guys, what the, it means is not just a book cover. It means we're finished with our book and we're running it through to get it published um, and hopefully in our hands in a couple of weeks. So um, it is called The Little Book of Big Evil. And um, it's got a lot of true stories in it that uh, from family and from friends and trusted people uh, that have dealt with kind of the darker type of things on the other side. And so um, there's a lot of amazing things about uh, what we, the journey of doing this book, a lot of crazy things that we found out. Um, and we will share that when we actually get the book, we're gonna have a party and you're invited. And um, it's going to be a lot of fun. And we are going to talk about some of the crazy things that discovered. I mean, one thing that happened, I was just literally kind of screaming and writing to Andy, it's real, it's real. And I'll tell you that story on that day. But we are going to have fun, uh, a fun party, and we're going to give a lot of things away. And we'll let you know that about that and maybe about a week or so we'll get it planned. OK, and meaning we're going to have a, a be live TV party where you all are invited <laughs> and we'll have a lot of you in our boxes. And um, we're going to have to dress up, you guys, <coughs> hair and makeup, you know, and that's going to be a lot of fun. So um, anyway, that's our big announcement. We're so excited um about it and i think when i saw the book cover it was just beyond my expectations wasn't it andy wasn't it yeah andy? yeah mine too i was like this is exactly and i i env envisioned it but then not not in the way that she did it it was just remarkable and i saw it and i'm like this is I like this. It kind of has that Amityville horror kind of a look to it. The font reminds me of that. The so. font. That's right. Yeah. Um, mm. I actually found that photograph. Um, I teach how to uh, publish these books. And I found this royalty-free photograph, and I ran it past Andy quite a few times. And I could see a picture of the silver St. Benedict embedded. I could see it. And it was very Goonies to me anyway. And so it was such a great th thing that she could envision uh, doing it this way. And the font was so perfect. And um, I can't I can't wait till it comes out. We're going to get a proof. We're going to get some cr proof books so we can look at it, okay it before we go into uh, printing. So um, anyway, yay, Andy. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guess what, guys? My That's my fourth book. Book number five is already in, and I've got my Library of Congress number. And book number six, I hope, is the one that Andy and I have talked about doing. Um, that's going to be really neat. That's that's a deal breaker yeah. on that one. So anyway, you guys, um, what I really wanted to talk about, and I kind of threw out to you guys, is to talk a little <laughs> bit about dreams. I don't remember dreams. You guys remember dreams? You do? Yes. Yeah. Do they come true? Mm. I get a yeah, deja vu dreams. Yeah. I, I have a lot of deja vu dreams. Jackie, I, um, are you guys seeing Jackie clearly? Um, she's my camera looks like it's going in and out a little bit. Yeah. A little wavy. You're but that's okay. We hear you perfectly. <laughs> so um a lot of people uh, have had premonitions that have come true with their dreams. Um, I get a lot of people that come and tell me that their dreams come true and they they have this dream and then, you know, something happens. And um, I am totally amnesia. I never, it's just like when I do a reading, it's gone. And I don't remember the dreams, but last night I wrote it down. I remember it now, but I want to talk to you guys about your dreams. Are they crazy? Are they monsters? Do you fall? So Jackie, you first. Well, I think I've, I've talked a little bit about some of the dreams I've had and mine are always about relatives that have passed away most of the time, more than that. They, they are scary dreams. Um, however, though, 
I used to get these really scary dreams where my home, this is going to be a little dark, so I apologize, um, where like my mom and my dad would get murdered and there was snakes everywhere. And mm. the scene wouldn't freak me out. And it's like, I couldn't wake up from the dream. And ah. I would sleep, but I would get, would wake up the next day and be like, I had the weirdest dream and this happened and da 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 I used to get them like once a month or more than that. Um, I haven't had those dreams though in a long time, so I'm happy about that. But um, I do get really vivid dreams about my grandmothers and that's one thing I really do appreciate a lot because they feel so realistic to me. Um, so I... And I remember my dreams. The only thing will be like, if I dream of something in my future, it won't be clear like the person's face or like if I'm dreaming about one day having a family, my family's face is blurry. And I think that's just like, you know, God and spirits telling me like, we're not going to tell you what they look like because it's going to give it away. So. Oh, okay. Got it. Wow. Andy, what about you? Uh, I, I don't dream really have, I know you dream yeah. of Halloween. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't, um, I wouldn't say I have uh, prophetic dreams. Um, mine are very, I don't know, all dreams are kind of weird and different and unusual. The most recent dream that I had, and it was very unusual, and I don't know why I dreamt this, but um I dreamt that I was hosting some big old party at a resort and I had alcohol there and I was trying to hide it from my parents and my family and my friends. I was like hoarding <laughs> this alcohol. Now I've been sober for five, going on five years. So I, I talked to somebody about it and they said, if you have relapse nightmares is what they call it, then that means your uh, sobriety is very important to you. Um, so that it, there may be a message in that, but I haven't had one of those for quite a long time. Um, and typically, if I do have a, a dream, it's very, like, I remember driving down, um, it must have been the freeway or the, the highway in, like, California with my brother in this, uh, oh, um, top-down convertible. And it's it's like one of those those highways where ships go under so the road cracks open um and we were going up like a 90 degree angle you know, it was really weird and we flew through it and um it, it's all it's kind of like action stuff but in a different realm so i don't know wow it's strange You're dreaming about being well, fast and furious i see <laughs> yeah right <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, I Vin, think we could do Vin this Diesel. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, let me tell you about mine because I like I said, um I don't remember my my dreams. I probably maybe two. One was about my grand grandfather and the other one was about Elvis. So that was weird, a long time ago. But other than that, I don't remember anything. <laughs> so, um, and nothing, came, you know, was a coming true thing or any of that stuff. But right. I woke up uh, watching a TV show, a TV series. <laughs> and um, so that was my dream. I'm watching a TV series. And I, it, I watched the series, the first, this show, and I go, I like this show. Then I woke up and went, that's not really a show, but it should be. So um, this is the deal. So when the earth gets to a point where they have to have a thousand years of peace, uh, so heaven and hell decide that, um, how do we make this happen? So heaven gives an angel and hell gives hell hounds. And I think maybe a demon. <laughs> and they come down to earth and they live on earth and they have to make sure there's a thousand years of peace. So whenever anybody's crazy or or let's just say mate, so they have to look, they were they can look at the future and say, okay, somebody's gonna get murdered here, or something's gonna happen, an accident there, or whatever. So somebody's going to get murdered. 
they have to, they're given maybe their names of the victim and the person that's going to do it and a town. And then they go there and then they have to find the people and shadow them. And when it happens, when somebody's going to kill the other person, they step in and and the hellhounds go and pull the soul. I mean, I was watching it. They pull the soul out of the out of the perpetrator and they take it down to uh, hell because they're allowed to do that before they can kill the person. And then that person is saved and given like amnesia and they go about their life. And then the demon or whatever can make sure that the uh, body looks like it died naturally or from an accident, but nothing like murder. So it was just like, crazy i was watching this and um i go i really like this <laughs> so um i i was really porn at uh torn from um knowing like is this a demon guy that came from hell or is she working with somebody from earth an earthly you know human but i just thought it was crazy but i was sitting there watching the whole show <laughs> and i go it was really neat when they the hellhounds turned into Rottweilers. I mean, you know how I yeah. guess people would have a crazy dream and then they see like something weird and then, then all of a sudden they're at grandma's house and then something weird. This yeah. was a whole story. And so the hellhounds, when they when they have to take pull the soul out, they turn into the hellhounds. So let's think of Ghostbusters or something. And they go in and they grab the soul and they pull it out and then think of the, the movie Ghost, and they take it down. And then when they come back, they're real Rottweilers. And I was like, that was really cool. So I could, I could just see, I go, oh, they're going to go all around uh, cities or whatever and try to, their job is to stop, uh, to find the people and stop it from happening, take that soul out and save that one. And let a thousand years of peace reign on earth. Anyway, um, if anybody picks up that idea and makes a series, um, I'll give you the address to send the royalty checks <laughs> because I don't know. I thought it was I thought it was really interesting because I never ever do that. I don't do that. So um, maybe it's going to be something uh, something that comes on TV. But I like it. Um, I did post in Psychic Fixes that there's. Um, Oh, Vicky has something that maybe Jackie could read. Yeah, about. I was I was and, just gonna mention her. Okay, it so says, I dream of a house, the same house as a neighborhood. Most are abandoned. I explore them, going deeper and deeper into hidden rooms and levels. Oh my gosh! I just watched Winchester. Was <laughs> <Did> it <you? laughs> good? You know what? I liked it, but um, everybody, like my family's like, that's weird. And then my niece, that's weird. Everybody's telling me it's weird. And I go, yeah, but I like it. Um, I liked, uh, I did a college paper. Thank you for the A uh, professor on <laughs> Sarah Winchester in the house. And so oh. it was, yeah, it was so interesting to, uh, and I've seen the house. So interesting to kind of get that story. I liked it a lot. Um, oh. you know, it's horror. What can I say? People, <laughs> people think it's something else, I guess. But um, no, I, I enjoyed it. Did he, Jackie, did you see it? I haven't seen it, but I've seen a lot of like um, the ghost adventure guys. And I've heard like myths and legends on TV that I hear a lot about the house. Um, I'd love to go there in person one day and see all the rooms that have mm -hmm. like stairs. And then it's like nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or, there it's or like, the door you open up and it's like three stories wall. down or <laughs> yeah you walk outside and there's no oh yeah, yeah. The, it's that's... a wonderful story I mean the story is so interesting and the one thing that people have to remember this woman uh, gave so many jobs she kept the economy up there going when people had no job and no way to make money for anything for food or anything she kept them going and going and going so what a blessing that was um 
Yeah, you know, when I look at her story, guys, from my perspective of being a psychic and a medium, is that she just got a hold of the wrong medium. The wrong spiritualist person got to her and um, and made it a little cuckoo. Uh, but part of the part of this movie, um, I was waiting for the hair, the baby hair to come in because um, she she shows it a little bit different way. But um, when they did get into the house and they opened her safe, uh, you would think, what would you think would be in there? Like uh, jewels and cash and everything. But it was her baby girl's uh, lock of hair. And oh I that was really sweet. Um, but sad, a sad show, but uh, I'm a sad story in real life. But I liked the show. I liked the uh, special effects. And I, could, I think it could have been a lot scarier, actually, because that's mm -hmm. what you want. You want to see a, a scary or a horror type of movie. You want to have a little bit more to it than mm -hmm. I think was there. But I liked it. I liked it a lot. So, um I did post on Psychic Fixes some of the new uh, shows that are coming out and some that are going away. And, of course, I don't remember them all. <laughs> I don't know, Jackie, if you can go back and look. Uh, but yeah. you guys remember Charmed? Do you remember uh, the story Charmed of uh, the sisters? What was their the, name? The other three sisters. Um I don't remember the last name. Isn't that bad? Um, but anyway, they're they're coming back. Uh, not them, but new actresses. And mm. so the series is, is uh, rebooting. And that's it's, that's neat. Um, Last Man on Earth got the thumbs down. Um, they have crossed the line so many times. I watched them, but boy, did they cross the line. <laughs> and so I wasn't surprised that they're going away. Um, and then, oh, Roswell. Did anybody ever uh, read the books? Roswell High? Hey, yeah, I, I yes, didn't read I didn't read the books, but I watched the show and I loved it. Mm -hmm. It was a TV show, yeah. Yeah. The Maybe alien thing. So wow, Maybe gosh. Yeah. So I lots in, of things. I, I, yeah. Yeah, I was in high school when that came out, I believe, or just shortly after. And now it's <laughs> being rebooted. I'm feeling old here. Oh, there you go. Um <laughs> It is, uh, is it a bit about uh, aliens and people that are that are in the community are aliens? Or do you remember, it's based on a book series. And I'm, I'm, here I am, a retired librarian, and I never, we never had that. Yeah, it's about, um, I think it's like two or three uh, aliens that are in human form, and then they... Um, the government's after them. Um, certain people know that they are. The, um, their parents knew about it, and then uh, romance happens, of course. And um, it, it was only on for a short period of time. I believe it was probably three seasons total. Hmm. So. Do you ever watch yeah. The Expanse? That just got the. That I yeah. heard that. One. Good. So, so the shows you posted up, Aunt Debbie, was the charm, the uh, resurrection of it um, on your on the psychic fixes. And then it looks like they have one called like um, Legacies, which is a spinoff of the Vampire Diaries and the originals, which is funny because I watched the originals. Oh, um, God. <laughs> You're so old, too. <laughs> We'll see the original. Well, the re uh, originals is on the CW, and it's actually their last season. It just started, so they're they're done making the originals. I think they still have the Vampire Diaries. Everybody's still obsessed with it. I can't get into it. <laughs> and then yeah, and then you said the um, Alien Show, Roswell, New Mexico. Those are the only ones I had on here. Okay, that I saw. <laughs> On the page. You know, did you ever, you guys ever see the show The 100? Mm -mm. I know my parents watched it. I think, I want to say they watch it. Well, um, uh, Londi Benson was our guest on uh, Wednesday show on YouTube on The Psychic Life. And her daughters were actually writers on The 100. And then they went to write uh, 
Batgirl Birds of Prey. And now they've switched and gotten, um, they'll be writing the comic book, The Green Arrow. So it's like, wow. Um, okay, well, let's move on from that. I have one weird thing that happens, and then I'll see if you guys have weird things that happen. <laughs> um, all, remember we were talking about numbers repeating, mm -hmm. and we've been looking up angel numbers, and a part of me was going to have you get your angel book number book, uh, Andy, but maybe somebody's got those. Um, you guys that are watching, if anybody has a name, uh, number that repeats, Go ahead and post it. Um, but 909 is mine. And so I when I worked in a jail when I was young. And my um, body number was 909. Uh, in jails, you have a number. Your body has a number. Every door has a number, guys. You better know the door you want to go through if you want to get through it. <laughs> and, um, and so anyway, my... Phone number was 0909 growing up. And I uh, remember my grandmother's was 0912, but 0909. My body number was 909. I would look at the clock. It's 909. To this day, uh, 909. So I haven't really thought about it. And um, I got a request from a family member. Oh, when, what was the year that my grandfather, mother was born and I don't know so I asked my older sister and she told me some off number 1915 and I go whatever and um and then she came back and said no I went and I looked it up and I go what was it she said nine 1909 and I'm sitting there looking at wow. 909 and I'm like what the heck did <laughs> is this a DNA thing that's going through that's that started somewhere else because I don't get what that is. I guess on the other side, I got to die and go to the other side and then go, Yay, 909 is here. <laughs> we don't know what's going on. Uh, Randy, 333. Um, um, either I can look this up on the computer, these numbers, or Andy, do you have that angel book? You have the angel number? Yeah. Book? And some, yeah. Well, um, Molly said 444. Yeah, as the number that she gets all the time. And then oh, look, oh yeah, Cheryl. She said um, her car VIN number has the last four of her social. Wow. So. Don't give out your social security number, Cheryl. Well, now we got the last <laughs> four digits of it. <laughs> I can get away with a whole bunch of stuff now, as you. Just kidding. <laughs> no, yeah. I. Uh, Amazon, Debbie. eBay, here I am. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the other so. night, Debbie, you had sent me a message and I looked at and we were talking about we were just talking about 909. And I I received a message from you in Messenger at 909 my time. And I said ah, okay, this is strange, but I'm letting you know that you sent it at 909. And we just, it, it was, yeah. It was weird. It was, you know why? It's because she's psychic, if you guys didn't know that. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was weird. I don't know what it is. That happens to be my number, so. Uh, Mine's whatever. my my birthday. I get sevens and 21s a lot. And sometimes you know they'll be together. We yeah. do. I, I have a numerology friend. I'm going to have her come on one of the shows, and we're going to just do numbers. Um, Andy, can you look up that 333? Let's look at yeah. that. Whose was that, uh, Jackie? Who said 333? Uh, 333 was uh, Brandy. Okay. So 333 is, uh, I just Googled it, <laughs> uh, angel number, <laughs> and it, it it's called the Jesus Connection. So 333 tells you that the ascended masters are near you. Uh, they've responded to your prayers and wish to help and assist you with your life purpose and soul mission. So um, if nobody is familiar of ascended masters, it, it would be like enlightened human beings that lived on this on earth at the time. And then they're, they're kind of, um, I want to say like they've done their, their life purpose and their mission. So like Jesus, Buddha, um, Mohammed, uh, 
Saint Germain. There's different ascended masters is what they call them. So, but three, 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 that's a good number. Three is my favorite number. I know. Did you grow up with favorite ones? Like I really thought two was really cool. <laughs> oh, why? <Yeah. laughs> I just like two, four, 24. I love this. And I'm like, I don't know why. See, I've been obsessed with seven because seven's supposed to be like a lucky number, I guess. That's, you know, that's what you hear. So se seven's always been my favorite number. It's my birth month. Yeah. So. Um, Bree said seven, seven and, and 13. 13 yeah. was always a lucky number till somebody got unlucky and decided they'd spread the rumor that it wasn't. See, I don't fully believe that. Yeah. I, 13's a, I don't think 13's that bad of a number. I just I think, always say it's lucky. Yeah, because yeah. I, think, I think it's society that... <laughs> That claims, you know, oh no, that's bad, and this is good, and this is bad. So, Let's the one four, 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 when you get a chance, yeah, four, okay, four, four. and that's um, from Molly, yep. And I heard in Spanish class, I took Spanish class in high school, and we learned, um, you know, how we have Friday the 13th here, mm -hmm. and it's considered unlucky down there, it's uh, Sunday the 7th, I guess. Mm -hmm. is what what it so that I find I found that interesting. Um, so let's look at four four four. Does Molly have a nice profile pic? Yes, she does. She does. She also says she likes thirteen. Also. <laughs> okay, Molly, four 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 is the number that is telling you to pay attention to your intuition and inner wisdom as your connection with your angels and the angelic realm is very strong at this time. So you have nothing to fear in regards to your life work and divine life purpose. Wow. Well, that's a, that's a good message. Yeah. Um, 13 is often considered unlucky by those who are superstitious, but um, the angel number 13 is very ausp auspicious which I don't know what that means. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's, it's a sign from your angels that you're connected to the ascended masters and their ability to help you manifest your desires. So 13 is good. Um, also, um, I do want to put here, since we started late, we I think we can be on a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. um, but if you do have a question, um, if you want, we'll do a couple readings tonight. Just post your question in the comments, okay? Just one question <laughs> in the comments. Carlos said something about his celebrity crush. I don't know what I missed. He said, oh. celebrity crush Dwayne, John Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Oh, we oh. didn't do because right, we didn't Carlos? do it. We oh, need to true. make it up for him. Well, let me write a note. I'll be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there we all is. have a crush on Dwayne Johnson. Come hey, on. after what, what oh. I've read on Twitter about him again. <gasps> what? The no, don't even say it. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just say he keeps it, as they say today, 100. He's very honest and he does not hold back what he thinks. <laughs> I saw his wax museum in I think it was LA mm -hmm. or Las Vegas one of the two I was like whoa that is so handsome and he's so short um, <laughs> but it, 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 yeah, yeah. Um, I'll have to find the picture well he's like he some he Samoan and because the Rock is like Samoan, and I forgot what else he is. Uh -huh. But oh, I don't know. Okay, well, I'll look. I'll. I'm going to do celebrity crush reading in a few minutes for Carlos because we owe you. <laughs> we owe you your celebrity that crush. Was, that was fun. That was a fun <laughs> thing because um, just to see if you're going out of the blue one time, a client asked me to do a reading on a celebrity and them. And so I did. And it's like, I've never met him. And I'm like, yes, I know. I figured that one out. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so anyway, post any any reading that you want in there. I think we need to, do we have a sponsor this week? We do. Um, 
We have the checkered lily, a pocket there. I see. I maybe Apocalypse. Jack. Yeah, somebody <laughs> that's the Twitter. name of your business. <laughs> you uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> by Kimberly Boshu. Um, and I will post her her uh, Etsy store. She's got amazing um, products here. Let's see. Um, yeah, it, everything she has is handcrafted, cosmetics, um, bath and body care. Uh, the pictures alone are a thousand words there. She so. makes some very beautiful colors, too, and I'm going to add that in. Um, so tons of colors to pick from for eyeshadows uh, that I know of. I know I need to go on her Etsy page and order some because – I, I saw some that I liked the other day that she posted up on her, her page. <laughs> yeah. If you guys um, like the colors of Halloween, the kind of stuff that the deep colors and the harvest colors and stuff, she Mermaids. did a Halloween line that she has on there. She said it was inspired by the spiritualism movement and the Salem witch trials. So uh, do look at that. Plus my favorite of hers is the mermaid. Uh, line and <laughs> this beautiful um, safe glitter and you can use it you know wherever you want to use you want to sparkle you can do it you want to be a so, mermaid you can be a mermaid right well. uh, Andy <laughs> while I look for Carlos would you go ahead and talk about the special I think you have a graphic for that I do um, okay so we have the May special for this month and you know, this is a perfect time because Mother's Day is on Sunday. So you can order a $35. I posted the graphic up above. Let's see if I can make it bigger for everybody here. Uh, okay. So we have the May special. Uh, you can pick Debbie or myself. It's a $35. You know, it's 50% off uh, video re reading with either one of us. Um, it, and there's only a limited quantity, so you'll want to order by Monday, May 14th. Um, and, and if you're interested in this, send a message to the fan page, uh, psychicfixes.com Facebook fan page. So, yeah, I mean, it's a great deal. So, um, And these guys are on point with their readings. I, I know Aunt Debbie doesn't always remember all her readings, but she's been on. I haven't had Andy do a reading for me yet. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, I'll have to do one for you. <laughs> and, and we already know Aunt Debbie was, you know, crushed my dreams with Bruno Mars, but we won't talk about that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Carlos. Woohoo! <laughs> Okay, first four cards are just for you because uh, I'm going to give that to you and then I'm going to tell you about them. Uh, yes, Dwayne Johnson. I get the Knight of Pentacles. I just want to tell you, I think you're all about having money coming in or wanting it to come in on a regular basis and to grow. I do feel like there's a little bit of struggle crossing over you in temporary energy. Rev up your motivation, okay? Um, I get the juggling money, so uh, manifest. If you don't have our book, we need to make sure that you know how to manifest. Okay. So the first thing is uh, the judgment card comes first for you and Dwayne. And this is like <laughs> an awakening. <laughs> um, this is a big deal. Like it hits. Whoa. I know what I want in life. For you, Dwayne is a wish come true. <laughs> yes. I feel like this is really good news for you. Very good. But ground with him. If he gets nasty, you have to let him know your opinion and stick to it. Because I think that he's someone who tries to uh, make the um, uh, all the decisions. And if you want something, you're going to have to let it be known. Um, it is true love. It is true love for you guys. 
Oh, wow. And I feel like there would be a love child. Okay. And a with him, child. you live happily ever after and super well. Baby. So. Uh, Debbie. Yeah, she, I can't hear her anymore and she's frozen. Yeah. Um. And so many. Oh, there, there's, there's she. There's <laughs> five, I don't know. She just that was came. Pretty cool. She just so, came back to us. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> she came back to life. <laughs> you were frozen. I was frozen? You were frozen in time and you wouldn't let it go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys are frightened. <laughs> yeah, Jackie's frozen. Oh. What is going on? Oh, oh well, now uh -oh. she disappeared. Where'd she oh, go? Here she comes. <laughs> She's coming back. We I'm might just have too many sitting... spirits trying to mess with us today. I'm, I'm telling you, that. I'm just sitting in here. I haven't touched anything. What's the last thing? Did Carlos get to see, to hear any of it? The last no. thing I heard you say was love child. Love yeah. child, and then you got the ten of pentacles. This is soulmate, money, rich, family. Everything's great. So he had a great one. I don't know why I. Okay, like Archangel Michael, would you just protect all the uh, the electronics because yes. we want to finish the show and make and us not blurry, blurry anymore. anymore. You're still blurry. I know. <laughs> that I keep going in and out. Went out. My camera is still out, so I don't know. Somebody, you know, I had a spirit in here earlier, and I didn't clear after. So, um, yeah, he was just, like, right here, and I was like, oh, okay, all right. And I should have cleared the room, and I, I didn't because I was just literally finish that and go there. Um, <laughs> let's look at the time. Okay, we're still good. Did anybody post to need a reading? I didn't so see any questions posted up so you guys go ahead post up your Seriously? questions in the comment in the comments Seriously? so i can I'm read them this is like free oh what are we giving away today andy do you have a graphic <laughs> i do you guys know uh, we're getting to know how to put graphics up now yeah there we go so this is um i believe this is going to be the one to 100 um numbers yeah yeah so this will be the prize the five dollar starbucks gift card for the one to 100 whoever gets the closest so that's, that's our prize. Oh, I, I finally got a question for you oh. um it's allison and she's asking do you ever see me having children can you leave her comment up for me please yeah don't take it down uh, Andy, do you want to look at it too? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jackie, can you entertain while we do this? Yeah, um, no problem with that. So you guys are going to get their cards ready for you. Um, Allison, um, mom, I you just said Allison had a question. Let's see. Molly says that the internet's being wonky, and I completely agree with her. Or we just have really good energy between the three of us. That they're like, I don't know if these three the world can handle together. They bring too much positive energy. No, they would want us to bring positive energy. Let's see. Um, it says, I keep seeing Cortland everywhere. I can't figure it out. Oh, so that's got to be probably she, uh, Molly asking another question. And <laughs> we got a lot of auto corrections from my mom on here. So. Our internet keeps breaking out, and my mom can't um, get autocorrect to not correct her words that she's trying to use. Um, but you guys, just remember, post down your questions down below. Debbie and Andy will do the readings for you guys. So any questions you have, we are doing really good on time today. Bear with us, though, with all our electronics being fuzzy, especially mine. But don't forget this week. We're doing that in the numbers again. So start thinking of some numbers, trying to connect with one of us so you can get your $5 Starbucks gift card. That's what, probably like a caramel macchiato or something. I'm ready. All right. Uh, Allison, so I'm just, 
I feel like uh, they want you to know some stuff. So let me go ahead and tell you what I have, okay? I do get the magician card for you. Allison, when I get this card, oh, maybe only three times. I've, I do a thousand. When I get this close in, like for you, somebody who's super creative, like an inventor or something like that. One time I was talking to somebody, I go, do you have patents? Do you have what you know are you an inventor and he goes yeah i am i'm like yeah i know this is one of being able to really uh get an idea that uh, uh something tangible like a product or make money so make sure you write all your ideas down what you really want in life i've got is everything is you want the family you want uh everything and you want the money too so i get that um I feel like in the future, you have a reason to celebrate, okay? Uh, past position is the Knight of Cups card. So it is my card of romantic dreamer type of card. So perfect going hand in hand with a magician. This is when you can um, think things up and dream things up. So already and being super creative. So man, you've got like a double thing going there for cre creativity. I'm being... Told I face your fears. I feel like there's going to be a new financial beginning or a new job or a new project coming up for you, okay? I do get that there's going to be a big change in your life, okay? Um, I'm glad that this... Uh-oh. Yeah. Like you're not going to... You're going to feel like you're not making... She keeps freezing on us. Am I freezing? Yes. What did you hear last? Um, I was hearing you say that she, oh my gosh, now I don't even remember what, what you said. You kept... Face her fears. Yeah, that's yep. where, yeah, that's where I heard the last thing. Okay. I feel like there's a new job or a new project coming mm -hmm. for you. I feel like you're going to feel like you're not maybe making enough money or getting enough money from it, okay? You do have the world card that tells me uh, that your uh, desires will be f fulfilled and that um, you'll reach your goals and you're going to have a change for the better in your home and also possibly career. Um, I do get you as the Queen of Swords, who is very much a strong personality, someone capable and smart woman, and can do just about anything, and also has a justice theme. So like when things are fair, but mm -hmm. not when they're when they're not fair, you don't like that. It's very hard to watch the world news because it's like so wrong. And so it's hard, but I get you capable and strong and all of that. I'm going to be super honest with you. I use uh -oh. get a card that's... Am I frozen again? Uh, well, you sounded kind of robotic. <laughs> Not a banjo, but a robot. Okay. <laughs> um, I checked my signal, and my signal is good, so I don't know what's going on. But um, <laughs> we do have positive cards saying that there is a, a reason to celebrate in the future. We have the... The card saying that desires are filled. What I don't have here is the card that I usually get two different cards for having children. So I'm going to say I'm I can't answer that uh, specifically. If you're having children, I really kind of don't want to, but I do feel like in the future they're saying there's a reason to celebrate. Okay, Andy, did you get anything? Yeah. Similar? Or anything totally. So uh, for Brandy, oh, I can hear myself. Talk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Brandy, for you, I got that. You have multiple projects going on. You mean Allison? Um, yeah. We, we're Allison. still doing. He said Brandy. Allison. It's Brandy. okay. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to cut you oh, off. Oh, Brand. Oh, gotcha. No, thank you. <laughs> Allison, my apologies. Um, Allison, you have lots of things going on here, but your goals are going to be reached in the future. So that, I, I got that as well. Um, I get that you're a, um, a traditionalist, so you like things. You don't like a lot of change. Um, 
I have that for you. I have good things happening in your home. So you're a natural mother. Um, like that's that's part of you. That's one thing that you want to fulfill in this lifetime is to be a mother. Uh, I, I, I see that. You have strong friendships in the past. There is some fear, though, and anxiety. So um, I didn't get the doctor card or anything, but I did get um, the moon card, which is about um, maybe you're unwilling to admit to yourself that um, it's not quite time. Um, there may be other things involved that need to happen first as far as like maybe your career and, and such or meeting the right man because I see uh, the King of Cups coming in afterwards. So he's, he's a very generous, emotionally stable guy. Um, reuniting, he could possibly be a friend. So I don't know if you're married or not, but th there's an older man coming in. Um, and then I also do get the justice card. So the justice card is, uh, like Debbie said, is um, about, uh, you know, fairness and holding people accountable. Um, so I have that. Uh, in the end, the outcome is that you just want structure, stability, uh, happy, like everybody does, you know, but uh, stability. I think it's, I don't show the children yeah, and maybe I'm not supposed to see this yet. I feel like they're supposed to be okay. Everybody's frozen. Um, certain people or, or certain events uh -oh. to happen. So you, Aunt Debbie, you saw me and Andy frozen. Okay, I'm getting everybody frozen. Huh? That's yeah. only, what is that's going only on? on we end. have gremlins. <laughs> that's only on your end that we're frozen. I Jackie's frozen. Um, you guys didn't do the show. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, but Andy's frozen. And we all keep getting frozen. We're fuzzy, um, frozen, or we sound robotic. We're gonna um, be Jack Jackie. Take Allison's. Uh, comment down, buddy. <laughs> you can put the everybody put down one number from one to one hundred, please. Somewhere in there, I have picked the number this time. Okay. Yay! There's the graphic. <laughs> this is a strange. Strange. My mom just said, Aunt I'm Debbie, frozen. You are Cheryl frozen. Cheryl says I'm frozen. Yeah. <laughs> I can see me move. <laughs> see, that's the weird thing. Frozen. When you said we were frozen, I saw you moving, Andy moving, and me moving. Yeah, I did too. I don't know. Oh. And I'm checking the signal, and it's I've got one, so I don't know. I'm going to go get my booster signal or something. I don't know. Um, okay. Anybody? Uh, 23 for Cheryl. Yeah, I'm writing them down. Okay. Thank you. That way um, they're easier to maintain the numbers. One to 100. And they can be one and they can be 100. You never know. <laughs> yeah. No. So, so far, I only see three three people that have guessed the number, and there's six viewers, so there should be six. Well, I'm. This yeah. is the prize, guys. Get your numbers in. Get Starbucks. I know. I'm looking for them. I found them. <laughs> found it. Starbucks. I'm Anybody ready to else have a have a number for us before. They go down, we'll say what, another 15 seconds? Sweet. Oh, here we go. These are our May ones. Hi, Sabine. Hi, Sabine. So I'm going to send these to somebody. Send Come one. Come on, who's going to be the lucky person that gets to get a cup of coffee? 
Okay. You get something more than a cup of coffee. You can probably get like coffee and cake pop. Yeah, like a half a cookie. <laughs> half a cookie. I don't think they sell them like that. <laughs> Sabine said hi back to you. Oh, I miss you. So much fun. All right, so we only have four guesses. Okay. What are they? So I have... Cheryl with 23, Brandy with 33, Molly with 56, and I have Sabine with 51. Ooh. Five. The winner was is five. Nobody Cheryl. was even close to five, except. <laughs> yeah. The winner is Cheryl, correct? <laughs> yes. Yay. Like she needs more Starbucks in her life. Just <laughs> Congratulations, got, Cheryl. I, the, um, got a pink one. And I've got the green one. And I've got the weird one. So whatever one you want, Cheryl. You already took the California one. You can't have that one again. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's gone. So we have three more, I mean, two more for this month, uh, Starbucks cards. And we'll get different ones. See, she goes, yay, lucky. <laughs> lucky, lucky. Um, we will be, um, you know, uh, getting different ones, you know, uh, to give away. It's so much easier for me to send a gift card so that'd be great well i really do want my dream uh, to come true into a television series if anybody knows anybody <laughs> <laughs> um and then wednesday do you have the gra graphic for wednesdays a uh, wednesday on youtube we'll be doing the psychic life we had a good show with the past lives oh yeah that was, uh, the past life was fun, and uh, we had Daphne Stoba on, and she told about being regressed uh, in hypnosis and told us I totally was with her, with her descriptions of, of everything, being in the marketplace. And I was like, I, I could see the fish, and I could see everything she was talking about. And um, and then we did Missing Persons with Londi Benson was our guest on that. Londi and I did, her neighbor did walk off one day and we did work on his case. And um, so we have, you know, experience doing that. But it was really interesting um, uh, that we kind of talked all about how to um, find people, you know. Daphne so, just um, said hello. <gasps> Daphne! Hey. Daphne, you did not. Did you not put in for the Starbucks plate? I oh, think she it. just joined. Hi, Daphne. Us. Um, we want Daphne to be on again. Daphne is yeah. a medium and uh, she's good. She is really good. And she has a friend, Rachel, um, who is uh, very well known also in the. Uh, psychic circles and uh, I have I hosted a seance at my house and they both came and it was just it was crazy good it was crazy good I really love that so um, oh you would that'd be great um, we have to pull out our topics list anything you guys want us to talk about you know just let us know so we can get the right person coming and and um, talking about stuff uh, when we get the new book in, which you can show the graphic now, that um, when we get that book in, we'll go ahead and we're going to really seriously have a right. spooky. Charlene uh, just yeah. asked if we're doing any other readings tonight. <laughs> we are a little bit. Um, it's been an hour now. What do you think? Uh, Andy, you want to do one more? Yeah, let's do one more. So, Char Charlene, put down your question so we can do your reading right now, and I can yeah. read it to it Aunt also Debbie and depends Andy. On the question. Yeah, depends on the question. A lot of them I will do off air, but not on air, or some we don't do. Yeah, if you so. want it to be super personal, don't don't post it up. 
send, send her a, a message. It is public. <laughs> it is public. Let's see. But anyway, um, yeah, we'll do one more. We were with all our technical difficulties. Just about I think frozen. I don't know. I should have like our okay, Archangel, take that spirit that came in. It's time for them to go somewhere else. Totally the gremlin in there, I'll tell you. Totally like I was like, what is going on? Um, you know, I just didn't even think. You know, you have a spirit comes in when I'm doing a reading and then I back to back and I don't clear the space and they're hanging out watching and just getting into stuff. So we got to, I got to watch that. I'll put a post-it note. Okay. Like so so, Spanish, looks, Spanish so she posted up her question. I feel like it might be more of a private reading now. Um, it says, can you sense what is going on with Phil? His birthday is, um, let's yeah. see. Yeah, I have a feeling for him. Long story. Um, uh, we. It looks like. March, uh, yeah, like his birthday is March fifth, nineteen sixty three. Um, is this a person that's uh, alive? Yeah, has this person passed away? Does she need? And Mezzi passed away. Hmm. I'm I'm waiting for her to see if she replies. Um. Oh, wait a minute. He, he if she has feelings for him, he's alive. Oh. Yeah. Correction. I have like no controls. I don't get to. They don't trust me with that. <laughs> I just got a new tablet to help do this that I ordered. Um, oh. so I did that. Um, I am a lot younger than him and yes, he's alive. So, okay. Oh, okay. 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 All right. Could you put a comment back on please? The original one with his name on it for me. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Oh, so it's a romantic, uh, okay. Reading. Alrighty then. This is going to be interesting. Charlene, you got really lucky. <laughs> We've been having technical difficulties all night. If you're just joining us from us being frozen on the screen or being really fuzzy or sounding like robots. Um, and, and Brandy, um, you can just message me. Um, I think I skipped over you by mistake. So, oh. so Charlene also said, oh, well, she's, you're, you're giving us a lot of information. So let's see what Aunt Debbie and Andy have to say before yeah. I, I read this comment. Because um, then if, you know, we want to see what the what, what they say and what the cards are going to say before we get more into detail about it. We don't want to, we don't always want you guys to give too much away because we want them to tell you and, you know. I felt led by spirit. Well, she said she felt led by spirit to get get the reading tonight. So, so that's good. Okay. She did. She's got the moon moon card. <laughs> oh my goodness! So, uh, Charlotte, I have a soulmate uh, past life connection. Um, this is the hangman card here, and so that means that when you. Um, connect with someone or you know how when we look at somebody and we go oh they look familiar or any of that stuff you get to know them or you just look at them and you're in love this is a this is that past life stuff so you guys have this bond and this connection however i'm just going to tell you not always are we to be with that person sometimes they come in to experience a life lesson with us. Um, now, I did not look to see if you guys were me together. You wanted to know what's going on with him. And so um, I do get uh, the King of Pentacles for him. So King of Pentacles is usually a money-minded man, okay? Um, I get lack of motivation for him anyway. Um, I get a trust issue. Also, I've got four cards just for you, Charlene. The first one is the seven of pentacles. This is when we're waiting for money to come and to grow and to have it. 
asked with the emperor card. And when it's crossing, Charlene, it means somebody on the other side. I'm getting a masculine influence that will speak to you. And um, and it has an influence on you. They, they're like your voice that's giving you advice. So I get an older, older male, okay? The justice card, like this made um, for you. Um, it's a legal card, but I'm getting the right decision in the future is made. I get talent for you too, Charlene. This is a card, the three of cups, where I feel like getting emotional joy and having success and something you do really well. And I get this in the past position for you. The moon card comes here, which tells me this is when we get um, psychic ability and paranormal activity happening. And sometimes it's an emotional card. And sometimes it's something that happens at night. But I'm getting you felt that to come here. So this is my card for, yes, spirit led you. I get the hangman card. I, you totally guys are um, uh, meant to be. Um and 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 do things throughout different lifetimes okay um for him oh, i feel like there's something going on for him about money like a new financial beginning a new jo job or something's going on for somebody but i do get the page of swords which is my trust and being cautious and not knowing what the future is going to be and then i get that card and then i get him as the king, king of pentacles what did you get andy um, I, I feel like there is also the, the past life connection as well. I first card down was I got the three of swords. So I got heartache and grief. So there was probably a past life and then I got it crossed by the sun. So children involved in this past life, mm -hmm. um, move, moving forward though. Um, I have, um, Charlene, I have you as the queen of cups so intuitive um you know you're supportive you're a supportive person um i asked the other side what it would look like when if you two how it would play out as a couple um i i see fighting um probably fighting for the same thing uh, i get competition disagreements and this relationship would be hard work so i get hard work and there's just taking on too much with that. Um, next is strength and having um, patience and m making time for one another. Um, so I see a lot of that going on. And then finally, um, I actually pulled 11 cards instead of 10 by mistake, but I think it was meant to be. Um, I get the chariot. So this is making a decision. I uh, pushing forward work. It's a lot of hard work again. Um, black and white. So deciding, should I or should I stay in this relationship? Mm -hmm. And then I, the high priestess is following your intuition and what spirit is uh, guiding you. And the final outcome, I got the death card. So I, I ultimately do not see it likely happening. Like it, it's not lasting. It's just too much work. Um, but again, we can always manifest to help change things. So mm -hmm. that's what I have. And it's not always what we want to hear either. I, I try to be tactful here. Well, just, just to re read the comments really quick of what she said um, before we did the reading. She said um, that she was trying to get him to visit her, but he's full of excuses. Um, I guess he works a lot, so he overworks himself a lot. And she says it's starting to make sense. And so... And then Daphne said, I think you are phys um, physically guide, physical guide for him, help him learn. So that's mm -hmm. from Daphne. You know, she's probably saying, you know, help him out, um, guide him in the correct, you know, the right direction to make, make things work probably a lot easier, I'm assuming. I do feel like his job is what's in, super important that this job card of the ace of pentacles and I get that just not motivated to go Charlene so I'm sorry about that but Andy was right we are not all destined to be together even though we've experienced past lives we bump into each other sometimes or sometimes they're for a little bit Sometimes we can stay with them, and most of the time we don't. Um, they come in because we made that agreement before we were 
born that, oh, we're going to, let's experience this together. And so it's to help us learn and to fulfill those little contracts so that we can uh, become more wise as we go through this lifetime. Um, I hope you're good with what we came up with, Charlene. Yeah, Charlene, if you, if you want some more answers, I would um, tell you so maybe you can get another cards full. Um, I see that you're commenting a little bit more um, and telling us a little bit more. I would either, you know, message Andy or Debbie or even on the fan page right here, send, send them a message and see what else, maybe they can give you another answer or give you, give you a more correct guide of what to do, I should say. Um, cause it, it looks like you, you want an answer and um, unfortunately we're, We'll look, you know what, Charlene, we'll look at your uh, comments afterwards. If you need to uh, let us know something, just use a private message, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and so we've given a prize away. Yep. And, and uh, our May special is a video and limited it to uh, five, guys. We are going to offer a special just once a month. And um, we're only going to let through like midnight on Monday for people to come in and you know, good value too. And um, you can, if you want to order something like that, you can just send a message to the fan page as uh, Psychic Fixes and we'll arrange that. And that'll be a lot of fun. I had fun doing the last one I just did. So um <laughs> All right, so we talked about dreams and all that good stuff. We know we can, we're going to have Daphne be on with us. <laughs> I'm going to make her do that. <laughs> um, we're going to have a party coming up. We'll tell you more about the book. And um, I can't wait because I'm actually going to have me and eat it uh, and, and drink <laughs> bubbling juice and stuff uh, during the party. Juice. I gotta like take person. Well, I don't. I don't drink alcohol, so it'll be bubbling juice. Uh, well, it's not like a witch thing, though. Mm. I could. Could have sworn um, they called it apple cider. <laughs> <laughs> sparkling, ap uh, sparkling, no, sparkling apple well cider. Grape drink. Huh. Well, just grape drink. Oh, well, That's so something good. Or something. <laughs> it's sparkling juice. Yeah. Well, just grape juice. She, she made it sound like it was her own concoction that she was going to make. Well, she could. You could. You I make know. magic candles. I Tomorrow, so let's do a little round table. Tomorrow, I'm doing wax crystal balls and what's the other thing? Um, uh, Black Mirror. So I'm teaching a class on divination where we're going to be. Yeah, I've got all set up. I have constant... Uh, I have holy candles that I made on um, divination and then regular wax candles and we'll, we'll drip it in to the water. You let it cool and then you take the wax out and turn it over and then we read it. And then we'll be looking into the black mirror and we will be looking into crystal balls tomorrow to see what we can see. So that's going to be fun. Ah, I want to be there. I know. Yeah, I'm like, why do I have to be in Georgia? <laughs> Or Montana. <laughs> <laughs> well, why do I have to be in sunny San Diego? <laughs> Actually, you guys, it rained today. It did. It just had. I go. What is that? Why is what everything are these wet? wet? Things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sabine. Sabine's coming to class. Yeah. I'm all set up, and I. Yeah, it's always fun. Um, I limit it, extremely limit it, because we've got fire in my living room. <laughs> so ah. I got to watch everything. I mean, I'm like, I've got foil down, you know, I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't need a fire. Yeah, it's, all, it's always fun. And not only, it's amazing where somebody will just pick and they just read this whole big story. You know, I see. You know, one time, I'm going to tell you, first time that I had a class on it, take it, we use just white candles, right? You pick it up and they go, oh, wow, I see a white dog and finish whatever they say. And the next person picks theirs out and said, oh, wow, I see a white dog. 
every single person was seeing a white dog. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I do have to put some colored candles in there, <laughs> kind of uh, change things up a little bit. So are we all done? Are we yeah. all finished? All right, guys. So what are you doing this weekend? Any any fun plans, guys? I can't <laughs> give my plans away because Sunday Sunday's Mother's Day and oh. my mom's watching. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but I will be wow. celebrating Mother's Day with my mom. Oh. We also celebrated Andy? Mexican Mother's Day, though, too, yesterday. <laughs> I saw oh. that on the calendar. I have a calendar that I had that on there. What about you, Andy? Are you, any ghost chasing? Any? Uh... Well, I have a reading tonight shortly after um, we get off. And then tomorrow, I'm, I think I'm free tomorrow. Sunday, I'm, Brian has invited um, my family, my stepmom and my dad and relatives over to this beautiful, it's called Dan Walt Gardens here in Billings. And it's just, people get married there. And it's just, a, it's, it's a, a couple that have uh, named Dan and Walt and they've done this for years and they've um, have this beautiful garden that they open up um, on Mother's Day each, each year. So um it's pretty. It's pretty exciting. It's a big oh, deal cool. here because we don't have we don't have a lot of. I mean, our our <laughs> spring season is late <laughs> for us here, so things yeah. start growing now. Yeah. Um. Uh, um. My youngest is flying out tomorrow. Rush hour traffic to the airport to fly up to San Francisco. He's helping his friend um, move out of. Berkeley and go to his internship in California and wow. then he'll be staying and then driving back down so I said you know when everybody's together then we'll we'll do Mother's Day so you wow. guys um it's time for us to go to the lobby and say goodbye to you guys yeah and um I don't want to sing that song that popcorn <laughs> is yeah Dance, the little popcorn boxes are dancing in my head now. Um, <laughs> we will be, Andy and I will be back on Wednesday and we'll wrestle up a guest and we're looking out more um, Starbucks cards and doing some readings. So thanks for coming and watching us and Okay, I'm going to say goodbye now, Jackie, and then Andy. You have to talk. I have <laughs> to talk. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. <laughs> Bye, Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Bye. Andy, put us in the lobby.